G'day everyone and welcome back to the Eternal Gathering here with another part of the case files for Theros Beyond Death as we open a case. Try and get this open. So as we go through the case, um, I'm going to spend less time on the cards that we have seen. So if we've seen some cards, I won't read into it too much. Foil Timeret, Chosen from Death, and Perfrost Intervention to start us off. Shadow Sphere. Dried of Illusion Grove. Cards can see play, I believe, in the modern format. Galia of the Endless Dance. Really good card. A bit of a sleeper, I think. So, watch that space. It's only a dollar card right now, but I feel like it's, it's something that can be played pretty heavily in aggressive stretches, especially in standard. Revoke Existence Foil and First Aroan. Games. I don't know, obstruction. Stops the planeswalkers, that one, supposedly. I'm not sure if it's uh, going to see play though. I prefer just a spell that kills something. That's a planeswalker as opposed to taxing. Mantle off the wall. So, so far, this case has been pretty good, I would say, in terms of the pools that we've gotten. Shattered a sky. Um, hopefully we get some more good pulls in the last couple of boxes that we got here. Dream Trawler. I kind of is seeing some play. Um, so price might go up with that one. But in the first week, um, it's been seeing play in the Control X as a finisher. Nessian Boar. Eight to Extinction. No mythics so far. I wonder when we're going to get those. Hopefully, get a couple in a row. Alirios and Raptured, and Aishox Arashaw as our rare.
So I'm trying to plot these videos as quick as possible for you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying. Ooh, foil woe strider. Not bad. And gnarly is intervention. I don't think that's gonna see any play at all really. Low Strider, on the other hand. It's a nice pickup in the foil version. A foil Farika Spawn and a Nyx Lotus. Nyx Lotus. Mm, it's a good price at the moment. It's about $8 or so. Will it keep its price? I don't think so. Um... But we'll find out. Still no mythics. Better be something good in this box. Bronze hide lion. Coming to about halfway through the box now. There we go. Crocs of Titan of Death's Hunger. Nice. So when it ends the battlefield, you have to sacrifice it unless it escaped. And when it ends the battlefield or attacks, each opponent discards a card, and then each opponent who didn't discard a non line card this way loses three life. And then you escape it for two black, two red, and five other cards get exiled. Um, interesting card. Not too sure if it's going to see a heap of play um, but something definitely that is being brewed at the moment and played around with in depth so we'll see what that ends up Taranika Storm Herald. Planes and that's his intervention. This is a this is seeing some play at the moment. Oh, sorry, um, and I believe it is the best intervention oh and alternate showcase art of Anax first non-foil one that we got in this box still only one mythic protein thoromaturge Nothing to go by for the Ruin, a nice pickup. Labyrinth of Scuffus. Almost to a third of the box left, and only one. Mythic actually, we'll keep the mythics separate so we can keep tabs on the amount of mythics that we've gotten. Come on, mythic. Love some Chimera and Lua the Unknown. Be good to get an Uru. Foil Uru would be amazing, but a normal Uru I'll be happy with as well. Woe Strider, non-foil version. This has been a pretty lacklustre box, unless we get some goodies towards the end of it. A foil Elspeth Conquers Death, so that's two foil rares. And Nylea as our mythic. So this one 
gives creature spells you cast one less cast and um, two on a green through the top card of your library. It's a creature card, put it into your hand, otherwise you can put it in your graveyard. I like the fact that you can put it into your graveyard instead of putting it back into um, your deck. So that gives some synergy with um, any escape cards or other graveyard shenanigans that you might want to do. Fix this up a little bit. Ooh, Nia Bloom Ancient. So two mythics in a row. Big steep leak cost for this. Four and three green for a five five trample. If you tap opponent for mana, it produces three times as much of that mana instead. Um and it's a five five. Not really hard. It is selling quite uh well at the moment, but that's because of Commander. Um, otherwise, there's not going to see any play anywhere else. And once people get their hands on that card, then the price, I believe, will plummet to bulk rarity. Arabos's Intervention. This is the second best intervention, I would imagine. Um, it's an instant, which is really important. Uh, Tiger Creature gets my sex, my sex into end of turn, and you gain X life. And an exile up to twice X cards from graveyards. So it's it's really good um, in multiple matchups. So having this in your main board or your sideboard uh, can be quite beneficial. I think that will see some play. Foil here of the winds. We've got quite a few foils in this. Box. Um, Citizen Champion. Two and a green constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield and you control, put a possible person counter on Citizen Champion and draw a card. Uh, pretty interesting mechanic there. Um, or ability, more like it. Be able to put a possible person counter on this and drawing card. So it's kind of like Enchantress um, with upside. It's not like the entrenches of the old where they were just kind of like zero twos or zero ones, um, which is easy to kind of like either remove. Uh, I know some of them had shroud, but um, remove or like you can't really do much more with it really, except just draw cards. May as well just have an enchantment, but that allows you to kind of pump up itself and, and then use that as a win uh, condition. Us with Conquest Death uh, again, but non-foil version. Uh, number three and number one are not too bad on this, it's just a five mana cost. Uh, I think it's a bit too steep. And a showcase. Uncommon. So yeah, I just want to count quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus two rares. So ten Foils so far. A lot. Another one. Eleven foils. And Nadir Kraken. A card that, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Let's see some play. Um, almost towards the end. Storm's Wrath, 4 damage to each creature and each Planeswalker. Um, it's not going to kill a lot of Planeswalkers unless they're already low on loyalty. Um, and creatures wise, I killed most of the cards in the format, but not, not the really important ones that you might want to try and get rid of. Oh, 3 foil rares. Archer's Oracle or Half Trips. Uh, actually, pretty interesting card. Being able to um, choose a face up or face down pile that your opponent creates um, and put in the rest in the graveyard. And a Crowan War for the rare. One, two, three, four, five packs. Five to go. Three 
free foil rares. That's pretty good. This has been basically a foil box. Hactos the Unscathed. Unscarred, sorry. Four to go. Foil Mountain. And a non foil Atris Oracle of Half Truths. Three to go. Temple of Lionel, that's the first uh, temple we've gotten in this box, which is quite interesting. Not that they get a lot of uh, money associated with them, they're only a couple dollars, uh, but they will see play. I knew, I, I should have just called it out, I said I think we're going to get a couple of temples in the last couple packs, I feel like they always kind of bunch together. Temple of Abandon. And then this last pack, I hope is, I'm gonna call Uru for the last pack to get fourth mythic. Oh, I did get a mythic, but it wasn't Uru, it was Polychronos Unchained. Um, a card that can see play, I think, in standard. Uh, maybe even Pioneer if you play it with the Hardened Scales um, and Wine and Constrict the deck that's out there. Um, so a card that can come into play with 6 plus plus encounters on it and 12 of it escaped. And then if damage will be dealt to Polychronos while it has a plus plus encounter on it, promote that damage and remove that many plus plus encounters from it. Um, so it won't die. Um, and then it can fight another type of creature for 1, a black and a green. And escape cost is four black, green, and six other cards exiled from your graveyard. So we got 12, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 foils. Nice. All right. I'm going to clear this up and go to the next box. And when we're back, Everything's been cleared to our second box. Um, so guys, if you can, give this a like and a share if you can, um, this video so you can get a bit more exposure out there, um, let your friends know, the ones that play Magic, um, that might be interested in watching this channel, it'd be greatly appreciated guys, as I try and grow this channel. Alright, see how we go with this one. Runs Hide Lion. Um, I don't know if we talked about it, but I think this card is quite strong again. Being able to gain itself indestructible into another turn, and then returning it back uh, when it dies as an aura enchantment with the same ability. Let me view so you guys can see it. Foil, Triumphant Surge, Triumphant, sorry, Croxa again, Tide of Death's Hunger. As our Mythic. Not bad, not bad start. Watching um, some openings of the Collector box and saw that... Um, Temple of Deceit, um, that there was quite a lot of the alternate version planes. Was this being opened in the actual 
one box, which is quite interesting to see. I think there was um, three in one video and two in another, um, which we didn't really see with the um, previous set. Treacherous Blessing. When it enters the battlefield, draw three cards. Whenever you cast a spell, you lose a life. Um, when it becomes a target of spell ability, sacrifice it. Really good card draw uh, for black. Um, three mana to draw three cards is amazing. Um, when you cast a spell, you lose life. That can be negated pretty easily. Um, so, yeah, card I could see some play there. Something to keep in mind. But yeah, I saw, um, I saw, yeah, getting a couple of, of the, I don't know if it's just those two boxes that I saw, but, um, pretty interesting to see that you're able to get, um, uh, more than one. Uh, it was pretty hard to get the alternate art planeswalkers in the previous set in the drain. Um, but it seems like it's a bit easier this time around. Um, your hits are much better. Maybe they changed that. Maybe they got some feedback and wanted um, to make the hits a bit bigger. In the collector booster packs, Traveler's Amulet Foil and Tyrannica, a Crown Veteran. And a showcase there. Um, obviously, the showcase mythics um, are much more abundant. Than they were in Throne of Dress. So I feel like maybe the abundance of these cards um, is increased. Storm Herald. Uh, during this set. Which might mean that the prices of those specialty cards uh, won't hold as well as they did in Throne of Eldraine. Just something to keep in mind. I'm not sure if. Um, I'm correct, completely correct on that, but just from the few videos I've seen, that's, um, what my understanding is. And the foil enigmatic incarnation, good way to try and get some creatures out, especially in Commander. And Nalia's intervention, interesting, there was a foil rare in front of Nalia's intervention, um, in the previous box. So I wonder what the prices are for this time around for these boxes. This is the 20 for second, sorry. And I'm opening this of January, next Lotus. So I wonder how the markets reacted and adjusted. Um, but the thing is nowadays that we've got some data from Arena um, to suggest what cards are seen play. Forest Foil. Ooh, there we go. Elspeth, Sun's Nemesis, Alternate Art. So we've got an Alternate Art non-foil though, but still really good. A Mythic there. Nice opening. Wow. Can't believe it's just so I feel like they're just easier to get this time around. But nonetheless still pretty cool. Labyrinth of Scophos. Oh, let's just look at that card again. It's just beautiful. Foil version of that would be bonkers. Or a Strider. My Triton foil and Allure of the Unknown. Nessian Boar. Pretty 
Christian Thaumaturge. I can't say that guy's name, eh? I'm bloody hopeless for that one. Wow. Really, really good pull. Hopefully we can get some more spicy stuff. Elspeth conquers death. Not so, not so keen on these sagas this time around. I really enjoyed them in Dominaria. I um, thought they were really cool. Uh, I still think the mechanics cool itself. As we approach the halfway mark, two mythics so far. Mantle of the Wolf. Daybreak Chimera Foil. Shadow Spear as our rare. I only got the one Showcase frame uncommon so far in this box. Well, not, not as many as I um, was thinking that we'll be getting per box. Thought it would be about three or four. The first Aroan games as our rare. Um, they were quite abundant in Throne of All Drain. I felt. Um, yeah, it just didn't seem to be getting as many this time around. Shroud of Ilsin Grove. Getting quite a few of him. Which is good. Field of Ruin. Great. Let's see. Uh, about halfway. Temple of Plenty, Banishing Light, that's a pretty good card too, it's two Mythics so far, hopefully we can get a couple more, we had one Foil Rare, we had three in the last box, Ox of Agonas, nice card there, Mythic, hope to uh, try it out in my modern Dredgevine deck. Give it a whirl, see if it's any good in that deck. Has potential, I guess. Galia of the Endless Stance. Ooh, there's another showcase. Right, alright, alright. Triumph of Anax and Pulacronos Unchained as our third, fourth mythic, sorry. Nice. And we've got a third of the box to go, so hopefully we can get another foil will be nice or another mythic in the last 12 packs. Kuranos, Hound of Aethrios. Nice card for Pioneer and Standard. I am betting that it will be seen play. I think we've pretty much seen most, if not all, the, the cards so far from the set. Thrix, the Sudden Storm. 4 5 spells you cast to command, cost 5 greater. Plus one is to cast and can't be counting. Flash fry, f flying, sorry, not frying, flying. Uh, really cool card to have in that flash, Simic flash deck maybe. Um, as a kind of finisher. Temple of Abandon.
as we come down towards the end of this case file. Oh, foil rare, treacherous blessing, and an Arasta of the endless web as our rare. And we're to cast a green or sorcery spell, create a one, two, yep, reach. That's pretty good for commander. As a commander, if you want to build spider tribal. Uh, it comes down towards the end, don't forget guys, please share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, like the content as well, it would be really helpful to grow the channel. Temple of Malice and Caleth, Beloved of the Sea. So that's three, that's, that's pretty good then, I guess if we're getting three showcases in this box. Uh, let's see. Arcan of Sun's Grace. Pegasus Creatures Control have High Flink. Whenever you an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2 2 white Pegasus Creature token with flying. Um, apparently, there's a combo with this. Um, not in standard, I think it's more of a commander kind of thing uh, where you can create uh, enchantment creatures. That other Pegasus, uh, what's it called? Oh, that's one. That's the the one that makes everything enchantments from Shadow Maw. Um, yeah, it make, create, makes all permanents on a battlefield enchantments. So when you bring that token in, it's an enchantment. So you can make infinite two twos. But because um, it's an ability where it continues to go, you're going to draw the game unless you can find a way to stop that uh, ability from happening by sacrificing the Arcan. Uh, so interesting build around card. Foil common there and Ephemia the Cacophy Phony. Uh, it's a rare. Field of Ruin again, which is nice. Two, three, four packs to go. Can we get another mythic for the end of the box? We got ourselves a foil Renata and a Phoenix of the Ash rare. Uh, I think this box has been okay. I mean, pretty good that we got the Elspeth. Um, if we didn't get that Elspeth, that's his intervention. If we didn't get that Elspeth, I don't think we've been as good of a box opening, obviously. Um, but hitting that would probably bring the price up of this box a bit. Um, when I was trying to look at the prices uh, for the um, showcase, uh, or a borderless planes office, they weren't available. So I will just add the normal price instead. Erebos, bleak hearted as our fifth mythic. Destructible, as long as your version to black is less than five, he is a creature. Whenever another creature control dies, you may pay two life if you do draw a card. So that's pretty good. Card advantage. And sacrifice another creature and one in a black to tar give target creature minus two minus one turn turn. So uh, he can fuel himself a two a creature and pay him two life. But you can pay that two life any time, so that's pretty good. Um, I think he's probably one of the stronger um, gods in the set. Last pack. Before I finish up this part of the case files. And our last rare is Dalakos, Crafter of Wonders. Quick creatures, control have flying and haste, and you uh, add two colors to spend this mana. Only can cast artifact spells or activate blaze of artifacts. Good for commander, definitely. All right, uh, that's it for now. Um, everything on the stack has resolved, and good games, everyone.